On Fox tonight, the community is rallying around a Portland specialty grocery store after it was vandalized. Food Fight Grocery is an all-vegan store, and it's been without refrigeration for days now. Fox 12's So Young Kim joins us live from Northeast Portland with the details. So Young? Perio, we're here on Northeast Halsey. We'll give you a look. This is where the refrigeration unit used to be that connects to the display box inside of the store. As you can see, it's been completely destroyed. The copper pipe that goes up the wall right there was taken and it was cut out right here. You can see where it was cut on both sides. Beth Sullivan of Food Fight Grocery, Portland's all vegan grocery store on Northeast Halsey, says she opened up Friday morning to an alarming discovery. They stripped the refrigeration unit of the copper and the aluminum and cut it and basically took the whole thing away. The refrigeration unit had been completely destroyed overnight. I'm sure that it was at most $100 worth of material. The total just for replacing the refrigerator unit is $10,100 and some dollars, and then we're going to have to add fencing around it and lights and a camera, so that's probably going to be another $5,000 before it's done. The display box inside the store the unit was keeping cool has been out of service since. Yeah, we Anything that you can think of that's not vegan can be made vegan, and we sell it here. We do a lot of soft serve and shakes, and so we can't sell those right now because they're down. And usually have an assortment of vegan lunch meats, vegan cheeses, vegan pudding, milk, produce. They say one positive thing to come out of this tragic incident is the love they've received from the community. Can I help you find anything? And neighboring businesses. The amount of people that came out on Friday after we put the word out that we needed to sell as much of our cold items as possible was amazing. And just the other vegan businesses in the area that reached out offering refrigerator space for us to store things so we wouldn't lose absolutely everything was great. Thanks for coming in. Now back out here live, Portland police say they did receive a report about the incident. The owner tells me they're going through insurance but still need to account for the loss, a deductible, and the additional security measures needed. So if you'd like to help in any way, we'll have a link to their GoFundMe on our website, kptv.com. Live in Northeast Portland, So Young Kim, Fox, 12 Oregon.